What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in again. As you guys can see, I have a new workstation right behind me and my new office desk that I went and set up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I put into my power station. Now, the reason why I built this uh, Hackintosh is for the fact that I needed a Mac, but I didn't wanna spend that Mac tax. Uh, as you guys know, Macintosh, uh, especially the Mac Pros, can go anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000. My budget was $2,000. And I went on a mission to go ahead and build my first computer, that being a Hackintosh. Now, a Hackintosh is not as easy as a regular PC build is. There's a lot of software that you have to play around with. So there was a lot of research on my end that I had to do, a lot of late nights that I spent researching everything that I was in the process of doing. I use it mainly for my Final Cut videos. So I needed something that was gonna go ahead and power through that and render all my 4K files with no problem whatsoever. So stay tuned guys, take a look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did.
All right, so now that you guys checked out the build, I'm gonna go ahead and just mention all the parts that I went and purchased uh, for this build itself. A lot of thought went into the parts that I picked and just for the fact that I needed it to be very compatible and to give me the least amount of issues when it came to actually running the software on the Hackintosh itself. So I did a lot of research when it came to the parts. I narrowed it down to something that was gonna be very affordable, but at the same time was gonna give me a lot of power for what I'm using it for, which is video editing. Some slight Photoshop and gaming, but mainly for video editing. So as far as the motherboard goes, I went with the Gigabyte Z390 Pro Wi-Fi. The reason why I chose the Wi-Fi version over the regular version was just for the fact that I got a better deal on Newegg. So there was no real reason why I chose that. Regardless, the Wi-Fi module on that wouldn't work with Hackintosh natively. So I had to buy an aftermarket Broadcom Wi-Fi adapter with Bluetooth. Now, as far as the graphic card goes, I decided to choose the Sapphire RX 580 just because Apple already uses that in their systems. It was gonna give me the less amount of issues when it came to installing it. So for cooling, I decided I wanted to do a water cooler. I went with the Corsair H115 Pro RGB. I needed some kind of light to my system, so why not? You know, let's put it on that. And for the RAM, I went with the G-Skill 32 gig, two slot, 3000 megahertz, I believe it is. Yes, 3000 megahertz. For my SSD, I wanted something that was gonna give me incredible read speeds and write speeds. So I decided to go with the HP 950EX. Now, if any of you guys have any doubts or you guys are contemplating whether you should build your own Hackintosh, my honest opinion, I definitely recommend it. I am more than happy with the build exactly how it came out. It gives me all the power that I was looking for. I have been able to run a couple of games at max setting, no issues whatsoever. And I just love the computer itself. Like, honestly, I feel like it's gonna make my production a lot better. I'm gonna be more invested into making videos from now on. And yeah, I saved myself a bunch of a boatload of money. Instead of having to go buy a Mac at the Apple store and spend almost $5,000, I got a pretty dope computer for under $2,000. So if you ask me, do you recommend this? Yes, I would definitely recommend it. If you are patient and you're somebody who is very good at researching and Googling, because it is something that you guys will have to go and dive into and not just go ahead and attempt to build it without knowing what you're doing. Is it difficult? Not at all, but there will be a lot of problem solving that you're gonna have to come across. And that's part of the learning process. Honestly, it took me two weeks to get it running 100% perfect. And I'm more than satisfied now. But there were some times where I was extremely frustrated and I got it solved though. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my page if you haven't. I do a lot of travel videos. I'm working on a couple of projects at the moment right now with a couple of cars. Um, so if you guys are into cars, follow my page. You're going to see a lot of cool cars in my page in the next coming weeks. And then hopefully I'm going to keep banging out more videos for you guys. I have this new computer now, so I have to use it. You know, I spent a lot of good money on it, so can't let it go to waste. But thank you so much, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you really enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making this one and showcasing what my computer is all about. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Later, guys.